Hello friends, this video on areas of parallelogram and triangles part 6 is brought to you by examfinet.com. No more EA from exam. So till now we have studied about the parallelogram and the same piece and the same parallels. Let's study about the triangles between the same piece and the same parallel. So let's do an activity. Let's draw two triangles in the graph paper. So one red, one black. And they should share the same base. So in this case they are sharing the same base. We have two triangles ABC and ABD, both have same base. And if we join these two points C and D, actually, it should be line CD should be parallel to AB. Thus, there are two triangles on the same base and in the same parallels. You'll notice that the area of these two triangles ABD and ABC will be the same, and this you can visualize actually by counting the number of squares. The counting of number, the number of squares enclosed in this triangle. Talk about area of ABC, just count these squares. Count these squares. Okay? Like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Like this, you count these numbers square. We talk about area of uh, ABD, the one in red, you count these squares, all these squares. So there will be a common square which you have to count twice. You have to count these squares. We'll see that the number of squares are same. You can do a more activity, you can try to take a triangle in the hard board which has a fixed area and now what can be done is we can cut this small part and then put it here by clipping it. Now if you see you have got a new triangle, this triangle also has the same base as the it should be extended as the same base. So that means it has it is the same base and same area and we can see that. So here also we noted that the area is same. The area is same and if it is between the same base, it will be between the same parallel also. If it has same base, it will be between the same parallel also. So let's understand this theorem. The theorem is two triangles on the same base or equal bases. And it will be the same parallels are equal. We have to prove this. So it is pretty easy actually. So what we can do is we can just draw a parallelogram. Okay. So we can say that if this is a parallelogram, we, we can just do, it, do or draw one parallelogram also. We can say that area of triangle one is equal to half of area of this parallelogram. And area of triangle two is also equal to half of area of this parallelogram. Now that means both the area of the same triangle. The triangle on the same area. So we can draw this one A, B, and let's go to C and D, and let's say D. A, B, C, D is parallel. Right? So area of A, B, C is half of area of A, B, C, D. Correct? Same base between the same parallel, area of triangle is going to form of A. ABD is also equal to half of area of ABCD. 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 Sorry. We compare these two equations one and two. You will notice that area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle. This I can prove pretty easy. Or if you want, you can draw a more parallelogram for this. And you can say that this parallelogram, this parallelogram are same side. Area and area of these two parallelogram are same. Half of the area of these two parallelogram are same. And half of the area is nothing but these two triangles. So you can do this way also, but not required. The converse is also actually true. We have seen that also in the cardboard example. So if there are two triangles and they have the same base. And they have same area, then they must lie within the same parallel. That is, so if you just draw this, okay, so this line has to be parallel to. Uh, so let's take uh, in this case. Okay, so let's say A, B, C, and then C, D. So 
there AD will be actually parallel to this. So what is given? Given this triangle ABC area. Both the area, both the triangle in the same area. And BC is common that you can see actually. So you have to prove that AD is parallel to BC. So what we can do clearly, we can just say that area of triangle ABC is what? Half into base, into height, and then will be A and then will be in some. Area of triangle DBC is what? Half into height base into height that will be AD dash. If we compare these two, these two are same, right? Because it is given so half of BC into AP is equal to half of BC into AD dash. Compare these two to the cancel this. So AP is nothing but it's equal to DP dash. Right now, P and P dash are in the same line, so the same uh, line actually. See, right? In the same line. With that, you can say that A and B has to be on same line, and that line AD has to be parallel to BC because this distance and this distance is the same. Right? And these two points are the same line, so you can see that. AD has to be AD is parallel to BC, and that is what we had to prove. Correct? Because AP is equal to DP dash, that means AD is parallel to BC. Okay? Why well, are P and P dash in the same line? And they both are ideal. These two sides are equal. See, actually, or we can say this way if dp is equal to a, dp dash is equal to ap and also dp is parallel to dp dash is parallel to ap why because both are 19 right? therefore i can say that d a p p dash is what d a p p dash is a parallel that means d a is parallel to dp dash that is also one way of explaining these two lines are same and they are parallel because they are same parallel that is this whole thing D A P P dash is nothing but parallel. Okay. So we have to prove that the medium of a triangle divides it into two triangles of equal area. So if A B C is a triangle and A D is medium. Since AD is median, BD will be equal to BC. This length and this length will be same. Okay? Because median actually divides the side into equal uh, length. So we have to prove that triangle ABD is equal to triangle ABC. The area of triangle Both this has same area. This triangle, this triangle. See, let's try to find the area of nothing but half into base, that is B, into height, that is A. What is the area of this triangle? ADC. That will also be half into base, half into base, that is BC, into height, that is A. So instead of DC, you can write PD. You can write. So this equation is like equation 1, equation 2. So you, from equation 1 and 2, if you see right and right is same. Therefore, I can say that area of triangle ABD is equal to area of triangle ABC. Correct? Easy? Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos.
can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for